some more. And as you can see, today I'll be playing one of my favorite childhood games, Sly Cooper. Um, I really don't have anything specific planned for this video. It's going to be kind of like a whisper ramble. And yeah, hope you guys just enjoy. But before I hop in, I gotta throw a couple sticks of the gum in. Um, I need something in my mouth. Did you want balls? Damn! That was, that was kind of sus. Um, I need something in my mouth. Um, I need, like, something to chew on, you know? Some, some good sounds going for y'all while y'all, uh, tuned into this, uh, sensational gameplay. So, uh, let me just pop the gum in right quick. Here we go. Respect. It's perfect. All right, pal. 
over by my house. So, if you guys would like to see like some outdoor videos, let me know. Because I kind of live in the in the woods a little bit, so I could definitely bring you guys a lot of videos like that, nature videos. Also, in the future, I would like to do a um, what's it called? A room tour slash, you know, work setup where I make my videos, do my homework. I like to show you guys that space and just my room because we moved to this house. It's going on a year that we've lived, lived here, like 11 months I think I've lived in this house. And, you know, it was a, it was a very busy summer for me, graduating high school and then moving and then going off to for my freshman year of college. So it was kind of hectic, but during the last few months of me coming back home and visiting over like Thanksgiving, uh, Christmas, and just like miscellaneous weekends, I finally got in my room um, where I wanted to be. So I'm really excited about that. now ended up repainting it like a month ago and yeah it turned out great before it was like a kind of like a um a tealish green color then I ended up painting it like gray my mom helped me out and my dad as well so yeah I threw some lights up got a new bed and uh, got a new bed and a bed uh, frame. I got a day bed, which is kind of, it looks like a couch bed. To make it more spacious in here, you know. I threw up some LED lights. Got a new desk for my corner. The corner of my room for my workstation. Mounted up my two monitors. Got my Xbox hooked up to one monitor. Then my PC to another. Then I mounted my TV, which is my main source of entertainment, and oddly enough, my main source of gaming as well. I actually don't play my Xbox much. I'm thinking about getting back into it more though. And then uh, my PS4 is mounted to the TV on the wall, so looks pretty cool. Looks awesome actually. If I may say so myself. That's all right. There never was one for the And yeah, just happy that everything's starting to turn out how I envisioned it. Back in here for the hell of it. Yeah, my Nintendo Switch is chilling on my little floating shelf here. But yeah, that's how I'm holding up pretty much. done any uh, renovations to your house or your room during this quarantine? Let me know, let me know, let me know. You know, I've been walking my dog through the neighborhood a lot. You know, um, unfortunately, it's beginning to get that time of year again where people are walking their dogs. Their dogs are pooping everywhere. Pooping on people's lawns and people aren't cleaning it up. 
a lot of land. A lot of grass to mow. But yeah, the good news is, my parents, we got a lawn service, so looks like I won't have to be doing that this summer. They'll probably find some other shit for me to do around here that I want to make up for it. <laughs> That's tough. But yeah. Also, I've been reading this book. Actually, let me grab it. Hold on. It's called Skeptics and True Believers. The Exhilarating Connection Between Science and Religion.
controller sounds for you. We'll get some uh, controller sounds from my Nintendo Switch here. See how this is sounding. Right there. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this man.